Uh, feeding the fish up. Get them in there. Oh, guys. Here's still all of my parts I got in here for the FD. Quick release, I don't need any more. Remember, I was going to buy the red one. I got another steering wheel, Nardi, with the carbon fiber on here. Oh, so much crap. And I got this bumper lip racing beat. I'm uh, sure I'm going to end up selling that soon. This actually is a pretty cool piece for the stock bumper. Obviously, I had no use for it, but pretty excited to get it, but now I can't use it. Anyway, just a little intro to life here. Oven going. So, I got a photo shoot tomorrow. And, uh, FD is not ready. I'm very excited about this shoot. But I got half of the car detailed so far. This whole side is done. Not the hood. You know, the hood looks fine. But it is clean. You can see the advents. See my legs in the reflection now. You can see that at all. So side's done. Very, very, very excited. See him even on the roof half stand, but I gotta finish the best of the I gotta finish this thing because tomorrow I have a photo shoot at about one o'clock. Pretty excited about it. I'll give you guys details on that when I upload it. But I got to do the whole other side of this car, and I haven't drove it since Sunday. God, look at those wheels! Clean those too. So, it's going to be a good test, since I haven't driven it since Sunday. And today is Friday. Let's see if it starts up. side up and I got the hood to do too which doesn't look that bad today but I'll probably do that last but I got hit with the compound and I also have to polish it as well I also got my turbo timer harness and I it goes see it's supposed to be four wire and three wire is the kit I got four and three so they don't go together so I Hopefully splice and do it the right way to make it work. We'll see, but I'll be putting that in. If I have time tomorrow, but I'll have that in this weekend. Oh, I gotta show you this. It's my physics, it's called. It's uh, supposed to make your bottle beer or canned beer. It, it turns it into like um, draft beer. It's amazing, so you just open it up. You just put your straw in whatever drink it is it's like real big in there but you have to seal it up all the way you go that way to, it pours out your draft beer from your bottle then you go the other way and it puts a nice head on there I'm a big fan of this thing I got it from Kara so I'm not sure the price of it probably not too cheap but yeah, I'll update you guys in a little bit, let you know how far I got. Got a little smell of pre mix, right? How much gas do I got? Ooh, it's a 40 mile drive, or a 40 minute drive. I had to stop for gas. That's the update for now. Hit you back up later. Oh. 
completely forgot before I uh, do this about a little video. I'm gonna lower the fret too. Um, see if it'll brighten up at all. Uh, yeah, but I can put well this side. I can put about two fingers, two and a half. I want to go down to a, probably one finger. But I can put two in there now. And then this side. I can put dang near three. So I need to lower these quite a bit. Ooh, it's pretty close actually. Let's we'll see what we can do. I mean, it rubs a little bit, that's alright. Not that stressed about it. Let's we'll see what happens. Can you see those wheels? This video is all over the place. I apologize. Um, I just wanted to add that I hooked up that sub in the back, in the hatch. Actually sounds pretty good, but um, if I have time, well I'm going to do this right now while I'm waiting, is I'm going to put some tubing over all that red. I mean, I am a fan of the red under the hood, but I got this crap. I'm going to put it over everything. So it's not such an eyesore. I'm probably going to try to clean these up a little bit. I'm um, not going to polish them or anything tonight. But just clean them up a bit just in case. I wonder what I should do with that uh, intake manifold there. If I should polish it up or get a feed cover. Oh, I got some feed parts coming. <laughs> okay, it's one. But see what's here. I got a feed radiator cap. Guy's gonna trade me. Very excited. Very excited. And, uh, yeah, so. Sorry, I'm all over the place. Let's see what I get done. Got uh, the roof done. Let's see it's shining all the way across now. And then we got the whole back done. And we're starting on the door. <laughs> this happened. Whoops. I have uh, two or three more of these, so not a big deal. I'll also get a new one. Pop it on. Alright, um, so I hit the car with the uh, cutting pad, but there was really not much point to go polish. This side is so rough compared to the other side. You can still see reflections and such. just because the site's so bad. Spirit R front brake pad conversion, front caliper, front rotors, all from the Spirit R. Not sure if that's rare or not. Um, you know, it's just hard to get. <laughs> Everything's even rusty from the sizzle. I haven't driven this car, like I said, in a week. Um, but you can see all the amazing suspension components. Tom, the guy who put all this stuff on there, or this could have been done at feet, I don't know, either way. I'm just so happy to have it, but this side was not, this was only like one finger if I remember right. So that's basically what I did. I'm using my finger to measure it. So I put it down finger length. So how this works, if you've never just coil overs, is this basically your height. This top one is, and this is the nut to lock it. So you have these special wrenches here. I have HKS1s, but I let my friend Ryan borrow them a year ago and I'm going back. Thanks Ryan. Appreciate that. But, <laughs> but so how it works is this is like the locking one. So get this one out of the way and then you bring this one down to wherever you want it and then put this one back up to lock it. So you this is kind of like where I use it to set it. Then you gotta take use your wrench. Oh 
something's really rocking out there. This is hard with my left hand. So you put it on there, and it just... It's, it's a lot easier with two hands, but you just lower this down to here, and then lock it back up, and then you're set. That's basically your height. That's all there is to it. Um, Get a video of it on the ground again. I know it won't be that big of a difference, it's still gotta settle. Oh, and when I took off the wheel, it had this little spacer on there. I'm gonna definitely take it out. Um, I'm not sure why it was even there, but look at these. Look at these. My, my, my. This is the worst wheel out of all of them. And I can't even find it now. Oh, right here. That one scratches it. That's it. Whole, all the wheels. I'm so, so happy. I'm gonna choose. Still gotta settle. But now it's like. Man, I don't know. Definitely low. It's still coming down, maybe. Eh, it's better. Yeah. I can't fit two. So it's like one and a half. And without that spacer. I think I like that a lot better. Yeah. What's that? All torqued up, lowered, all cleaned up. I got everything done. So I was gonna do front end way lower. The more it settles, the more I want to raise it back up. And I can still fit one finger though, so the sides are pretty much matched. Um, I'm gonna check the torque on everything. Um, so my badass torque wrench. A digital. Yeah, I'm setting it to 100. I know Mazda's supposed to be lower. 7580, but I do all my cars at 100. I don't care. Um, here's the other side. Man, it's so good. And I like it without the spacers, too. Still sticks out a little bit. I don't know why he had those in there. First thing done this car I didn't like. <laughs> and then I was able to put that plastic crap over the wire so there's no more red showing. I'm um, probably gonna try to wipe down these pipes. There we go. And so we can clean up that HKS stuff. But on that, that's it for tonight. I need to. Move this over and pull the Evo in. Um, it's out there somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, next video should be the photo shoot. We'll see. Next day, next day. Car is settled. It looks a little low in the front, but I'm going to drive it that way today. Um, I mean, we're talking from the ground, like barely, I don't know, I don't even want to say, like two inches. I'm making all the feed st stickers to put back on. I make uh, stickers if you guys didn't know. But I just put the rear window one on. And the front window one on right here. It goes right in the center. That's how it was in Japan. I made these little guys too, and uh, I want to put those on the side skirts, but maybe he made them too big. I don't know, we'll see. All these are real feed parts, so might as well wrap it up. Um, but today is the photo shoot. Freaking pumped. Um, we're going to meet up with some of the boys, and uh, I'll pick it up there. I lied. <laughs> Uh, continuing here because I got all the stickers on. It looks so good. I just had to show it off. Speed on the speed so 
side skirts. Back window. And I even put my license plate frame on and my license plate. It ain't registered yet, but that's the plate it will be, obviously. All right, on to the next. Man, oh man, I didn't film it because it was a pain in the ass, actually. But um, I just put in the Grady Turbo Timer. It's in, it's rocking. Oh, I'm gonna scratch my screen. That's hair. Just a pube. Um, I didn't have time for that photo shoot to hook up to the e-brake, so I just have it always on. Put the 50 seconds, I think that's sufficient. Yeah, we're good to go. Hopefully the car starts. I haven't tried that yet. I'm sure well, no doubt. <laughs> All right, let's go. So good, so good. Oh, geez. How you doing? We're leaving? This is always a fun time. Ha, 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 ha. 